this video we are going to learn the drawing of the front elevation left half in section sectional plan and end view of a transformer with the uh, following dimension so here the transformer type is a single phase code type uh, its rating is 15 kva 50 hertz it's a distribution code type transformer and the details of magnetic circuits is this cross section of core is 63 mm into 91.6 mm uh, by this we can uh, tell the transformer is the core of the transformer is a cruciform that is two stepped core so we have uh, uh, smallest stamping width is 63 and the largest stamping width is 91.6 mm and the window dimension is 298.5 into 114.5 mm and the yoke height is 63.5 mm and now coming to the electrical circuit the LV winding is the number of coils on each leg is 1 and number of turns per coil is 72 turns and number of layers per coil is 3 uh, section of conductor is 2.79 into 10.6 mm the dimension of the conductor is coming for the HV winding the number of coils on each leg is 1 and number of turns per coil is 720 turns and number of layers per coil is 8 layers cross section of the wire is 2.59 mm diameter di di it's a it is having 2.59 mm dia and coming for the dielectric media air space around the core is 1.66 mm uh, insulation between core and LT is 1.6 mm insulation on HT is 3 mm insulation at the top and bottom winding and insulation between layers is 0.35 mm and here in the all dimensions are in millimeter and uh, now we know uh, and we need to provide the 10 mm bolt with the sleeve at suitable spacing so here uh, by considering all the major dimensions so we have a solution for this drawing so by these major dimensions we are going to draw the drawing uh, here the plan uh, for the plan we require the cruciform construction there we have a width of largest stamping is 91.6 mm and width of smallest stamping is 63 mm and distance between the limbs is 114.5 uh, by the window width we have uh, got this and inside diameter of LV winding is 117.69 mm and outside diameter of LV winding is 137.23 mm and inside diameter of HV winding is 143.23 mm outside diameter of HV winding is 190.97 mm and coming for the elevation uh, we have a width of largest stamping is 91.6 mm and height of the core is 298.5 mm yoke height is 63.5 mm total height of the core occupied by LV winding is 263.15 mm total height of the core occupied by the HV winding is 264.95 mm and the distance between the limbs is 114.5 mm clearance from top and bottom of LV winding to the yoke including winding support is 17.67 mm clearance from the top and bottom of HV winding to the yoke including winding support is 16.77 mm so by these major dimensions we are going to draw the plan and elevation and also the end view of the single phase core type transformer so these are the major diamonds which I which I have considered for the drawing of this single phase core type transformer so now we'll move to the drawing so first I'll draw the plan of the drawing or the plan of the single phase core type transformer in the plan the complete sectional plan so we're going to draw the complete sectional plan of this uh, transformer for that first I'll draw the core for that I'll take this rectangular from this rectangle I'll draw the dimension go for the dimension and then enter the largest stamping width and smallest stamping width it's 91.6 and then 63 is the smallest stamping width and now, now click for other corner and then same thing copy this and then place it here and then now rotate this about a 90 degree and then move this rectangle to the middle of this rectangle and after that go for the circle and from the center of this and draw the diameter having 111.17 mm diameter and now trim off the portions which are and see like this and now we got the two step core uh, this is a one limb and now from this we are going to draw the windings on the core LV winding is wounded first and then after that HV winding is wounded so here uh, 
for this we require the inside diameter of lv and then outside diameter of lv inside diameter of hv and outside diameter of hv for that go for this circle with the diameter and draw this inside diameter of lv is 117.69 and then take the circle again and draw the circle outer diameter of lv is 137.23 and then again go for the center diameter and draw the circle inside diameter of hv so 143.23 and then again one more circle outside diameter of hv is 190.97 so this is the one limb representation of the single phase core type transformer and now we need to show one more limb adjacent to this for that we require this window width they have given so window width is 114.5 for that i'll draw the line from this end point to this point the la uh, width of this line is 114.1 114.5 and now we need to show this particular hatching for the core and the windings so for that i'll do hatch and go for this ANSI 31 and then here select boundary objects and then select these lines and then enter the angle 135 then close the hatch and then go for the hatch again and do the hatch pick internal points do the hatch for this circle and change the angle and then that represent lv winding and then go for the hatch again and do the hatch for this and just change the angle and then close the hatch and now we can easily identify that lv and hv winding and then the core and now select this complete part and do the mirror for this mid and don't erase the source object and now we have represented this two limbs of a single face core type transformer and then select the line and then draw the line from this point to this and then again from this point to this and now trim of this line so that is not seen here now this is the sectional plan of the single phase core type transformer and now we'll draw the elevation of the transformer left half in section for that i'll draw the core for that select the line i'll draw from this corner i'll draw the bottom yoke height yoke height is 63.5 and next the core height core height is 298.5 and then top yoke so the same 63.5 and then the width of largest stamping largest stamping width is 91.6 and the next window width is 114.5 and the next again the width of largest stamping is 91.6 then to the downwards again the height of the top york 63.5 and then core height is 298.5 and then bottom yoke is same 63.5 and then here to this side i'll complete this line like this and then after inside that we need to draw the window for that i'll take the line from this end point i'll draw the width of largest stamping is 91.6 then to the top word i'll draw the height of the core is 298.5 then to the right side i'll draw the window width is 114.5 then to the downwards the core height that is 
and then the window width 114.5 and now select this line delete it and now this will be the left half and this is the right half in this left half we need to show the transformer in section for that all the windings that we require so here I'll draw the line like this and then draw one more line from the midpoint of this line exactly of height of this transformer 298.5 and now we need to offset this line for the particular distances like the diameter of all the LV and HV winding inside and outside diameter divided by half of that winding diameters first offset distance will be inside diameter of LV 117.69 yes 117.69 divided by 2 is 58.84 select this line and do the offset like this and then go for the offset again and then enter the offset distance for outer diameter of LV divided by 2 outer diameter of LV is 137.23 divided by 2 is half of that is 68.61 and now select the same line and do the offset like this and then go for the offset again the third offset will be inside diameter of HV 143.23 divided by 2 will be 71.61 71.61 and then select the same and do the offset and then go for the last offset the last offset will be the outer diameter of HV is 190 0.97 divided by 2 that is 95.48 select the line and do the offset and after that select the line and then close the line from this end point to this end point and now we need to show the clearance from top and bottom so here uh, LV clearance is 17.67 for that draw the line from this point 17.67 and then close the line like this and then draw the clearance for HV also HV clearance is 16.77 so this clearance is including the winding support so join like this and then select this part and do the mirror to the mid point like this and now we will get the clearance on top and the bottom of this winding so now we need to show the LV and HV winding for that go for this hatch select this ANC 31 and do the hatch for this LV winding and then close the hatch and then go for the hatch again do the hatch for this HV winding and change the angle to 0 and then close the hatch and then for the clearance go for the solid hatch and do the solid hatch for the clearance on top and bottom where the LV and HV winding are shown and now we need to show the remaining half of the winding here this side for that select this part and do the mirror vertically like this and now we got the half uh, this left half in section and the remaining right half that uh, we are not showing in a section the winding will be shown for that select this outer line to show the right limb winding select this outer lines and here this line and then this line and then select the outer lines to show the windings on the right limb all these outlines and now do the mirror for this middle and then now select these two lines and delete it and then select the line and join these two and at the bottom also here join these two lines and after that this unsectioned winding that we need to show in this hatch 
go for this hatch and see 31 and now here scale it for 10 and then angle 130 then close the hatch and now select this two lines and then delete it and now this is the elevation left half in section showing the left half in section of the single phase core type transformer and then uh, one more that we need to draw and now we need to show one more view that is end wave so that without any section for that I'll select this complete winding part and then copy and then place it here and then after that we need to show the upper and bottom yoke after copying this winding from here to here so we need to show the top and bottom yoke here for that from this midpoint line we'll draw 63.5 as a top yoke height and now go for this plan and just copy this core lines and now copy this from this midpoint and then paste it on the top of this now the end point of this line and now go for the trim and trim of this and delete this two lines delete the, these two lines and now draw the line and drop the line like this and now select this line and delete it and now select this complete and do the mirror to this mid and now we will get the top and bottom yoke And this is the sectional plan and this is the left half in section elevation and this is the end wave of the single phase core type transformer.